Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to append multiple Excel tables into one consolidated table using Power Query. Here in this workbook I have four sheets East, West, North and South and in each sheet I have an Excel table which has the sales data for July 2018. Now what I want to do is I want to combine all these regions sales data into one consolidated report. Now what I can do is I can copy paste this data one below the other and have it but let's say next month I get new data for each of these regions then I would have to do that again. So first of all that process is tedious and it's also error prone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Power Query to combine this data and automate this process in such a way that next month when I get new data I can simply refresh Power Query and get the consolidated report and, and I don't have to manually copy paste this data. So to do that first I need to get this data these tables data into Power Query. So to do that I would click on any of these data tables go to data tab and click on from table range since it's already an excel table it would directly open this data in the query editor and here you can see the name of this is the same as the name of my table and I have this data here now what I want to do is make sure that this data is saved as a connection so I don't want to load this data into a worksheet in Excel rather I want to save it as a connection so that I can access this using Power Query and I can use this to append the tables but there is one problem with this data set nowhere it says that this is the data for East region so I know that the name of the query is East but when I combine all those tables I would not know whether this record is from East or West or North or South so what I need is I need an additional column here that mentions the region and to do that I would have to go to the add column uh, tab here and click on custom column now here I have to name this column I would call this region but make sure whatever name it is it is consistent for all the tables and now when I type East here in double quotes and click OK it would insert a column with the text East as the region and I can simply drag this and put it at the beginning of this table. Now you can see all these steps have already been recorded because uh, Power Query works as a recorder which, which keeps a track of the uh, steps that I follow and keeps uh, noting these steps. Now what I need to do is I need to go to the file tab and instead of close and load because if I close and load I choose this option it would insert the new worksheet and put this data in the new worksheet but I don't want that so I would go to close and load too and this opens the import data dialog box. Now in Power Query what I can do is I can load the data in an Excel table in the new worksheet. I can load the data in pivot table report as a pivot chart or I can create a connection only and I would create a connection only so I click OK. Here you can see East underscore data connection only has been created. A connection is something that can be accessed by Power Query. I can use this data in Power Query but it's not occupying space on my workbook. There, there is no additional tab. This data is nowhere to be seen in the workbook. Now I have to do this for all of these tables so I would go to West in data tab go to from table range. Here I would go to add column custom column and here I would type the column name as region and I would name the region as West here within double quotes remember to keep the double quotes make sure that there is a green tick here if this is there is no green tick here then which means that there is some syntax error in whatever you're typing here it could be a formula as we would see in the next videos or it, it's text in double quotes now when I click OK it inserts this column I would drag it to the beginning of this data go to file close and load to only create connection and you can see west underscore data is created similarly I'll do it for north let me quickly do it now so I go to add column custom column this is region and this is north I would drag this to the beginning go to file close and load to connection and similarly I can go to south from table add column region this is south now click 
okay drag this to the beginning go to file close and load to only create connection now I have all these four connections and what I need to do is combine these so to do that I can go to the get data tab in the data tab I have this get, get data option and I have combined queries where I have the append option when I click on the append option it opens this append dialog box you can also get the same thing here so if I click on any of these queries and go to append it'll again open the same dialog box if you have two tables you can use this option but because I have four I would use this option here and East data is already here in the list because I used East data uh, to get the append option so I would select the remaining three and click on add if you want to change the order you can do that by clicking and using these arrows remember that while appending the data it would follow this sequence so first we would have data from east and then west and then north and south and now when I click OK it will open this data in the query editor and I have the entire data set and you can see I have the region column as well which was not there originally in my data and what I can do is if I want to transform this data here I can do that so for example in case of date column if you don't want the time you can go to transform and change this to date similarly if you want the commission in percentages you can come here and change this to percentage and now I can load this data in my Excel workbook so to do that I would go to file close and load to because now I want this data as an Excel table in the workbook so when I click on close and load it inserts a new sheet and now I have the entire data set and you can see I have the region column as well which was not there originally in this now when next month you get new data for August 2018 then you can simply copy paste that data here on each of these regions come to sheet 1 and simply refresh it and when you refresh it it would give you the new consolidated report for August 2018 and similarly you can do it for any month now in this case just make sure that your data is consistent so for example in this your column headers are consistent so for example in this case you can see it's date item sales rep all these are the same in each of these tables but what happens if it's not the same here so let's say if I come here and this is sale date in West but in others it's simply date what happens I come to my power query here and when I create this query it would show me an error and you can see it's showing me an error now because in West data it expected date but it got sale date so what I have to do is I can simply go to the query there in the West data go to the source step and change this from sale date to date and it would insert a new step here in between mentioning that I've changed the name so when I hit enter it shows me this insert step and I'm okay with this step because it will be inserted here and it makes this date so now it has become consistent and now I can go to I can close this and keep the changes and see what happens now it's consistent and now there is no error here so in case the headers are not consistent one option is you make them consistent while you're copy pasting the data but if that is taking you a lot of time you can make these consistent in the queries and once you have made them consistent in the query you don't need to do that again and again so this is how you can combine multiple excel tables into one consolidated excel table using power query that's it in this video i hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day